in this task we need to take database backup on db server then we need to copy that backup to uh, backup server so on the jenkins server we we're gonna install sss plugin then we're gonna uh, store credentials of the db server then we try to access db server uh, we try to access backup server from db server so i'm gonna use uh, sss keys for that so let's do that in action Click on Jenkins here. So first we need to access DB server uh, from Jenkins. So configure that. For that we need uh, plugins. Go to Gen uh, manage Jenkins and click on plugins. Manage plugins, available plugins, just type SSH. So just restart them. It's going to install and restart Jenkins. Meanwhile, I'm going to copy uh, DB server credentials. And this is the DB server stdb01, that's our host name. Either you could use an IPR host name, uh, use the name and password. I'm gonna copy the password. If I restart this page, uh, they said on the note Jenkins is gonna take a while uh, to install plugins. So I'm still installing that SSS plugins. Then once we are done, uh, we're gonna go to uh, manage Jenkins. Then we we are going to uh, store credentials of the DB server. We can manage Jenkins. So we need to establish this SSS connection from Jenkins server to this uh, DB server. So we are going to uh, store credentials of the DB server now. Click on credentials, system, global credentials, add credentials. Then give the username as Peter, password is Pyre, then uh, to identify I'm going to say dbcats, create. So I just saved credentials. So I need to enable the SSH. So manage Jenkins, then click on configure system. The Jenkins server takes a long time to load. Okay. Scroll down, click on add under SSH sites, 
host name give the day host name as tdb01 and port 22 give the credential we just saved then check it okay. connection successfully click on save uh, now come back to our job okay we didn't create click on create job and the job name database backup install job click on ok then what we need to do we need to take a database backup dump public core cloud db01 so how are you going to take a sql database backup we can use mysql dump command for that click on add execute shell script on remote uh, host ssh using ssh okay that's fine just type mysql dump then username core cloud ry and password this one don't give a uh, space after p it's gonna give an error otherwise then we need to give that uh, database name then we're gonna copy it as this name so that's gonna choose a uh, current date then once you create this uh, file this sql file a dump file so we need to copy this to remote server so for that what i'm gonna do just click on save for now now we done with this part the sql dump as well once you take that we need to uh, ssh into backup server so let's configure that so i'm going to use a uh, passwordless authentication so i'm going to generate ssh keys then i'm going to establish this connection between uh, db server to backup server with the keys for that what what we can do uh, Connect it to your uh, DB server, Peter stdb one and password. Enter the password, then run command ssh iphone tgen iphone t rsa. So, once you run this command, it's gonna create a public and private keys under us home directory under the .ssh directory. So, once you're done with that command, just type ssh copy id then give that uh, ba backup server username uh, that's uh, it's gonna be clint password is this one then the host name is stbkp01 just let's do that stbkp01 then yes paste the password okay now you're done with that now if you want to connect to the server again you just it's not going to pop up a password let's check that print st bkp01 see it didn't it didn't pop for any uh, password it straight away connected because of these keys okay now we are done with that uh, connection part then how are you going to copy the file we just uh, took a backup if you do ls okay of course we didn't run that command once you run that command it's going to create a file then how are you going to copy you can use scp command so come over here configure again just type scp and iphone o because i don't want to uh, uh, check for that uh, fingerprint so you can you can copy this command simply so this command is uh, whenever you're trying to configure a server first time it's gonna ask for fingerprints verification that's when that's when when you enter s so in order to avoid that i'm just gonna re uh, remove that option then once you take this uh, backup file so i'm going to send this backup file to clean at the right stbk with us a host and uh, under this directory let's save that before that okay 
we are under the clint directory oh, sorry that's b let's connect to that backup server clint st bkp01 if i do ls i could see that file that's what it says db backups by folder name let's get into the directory if i do ls i don't have any files but once i run this job which i just configured i'm gonna uh, have that file to that under that server and we need to create we need to schedule this uh, to run this task to run for every 10 minutes so I just copy this cron expression come back here then click on build periodically and paste it apply save let's run this job so one to run this job it's going to take backup and uh, then it's going to copy that backup to that remote server that's a backup server let's see yeah here you could check that it's been done then it's copied that okay it says access denied for user cochlear using password yes when try to connect okay let's check that if i do ls over here yeah okay okay still it's been uh it's gone through and we got that file it's nothing in okay let's rerun the job Got it one zero for access in airflow. Okay, let me uh, jump back to configure again. Check this command MySQL Cochlear username is fine, password is this one, and the DB is this one. okay let's run this command manually exit now I'm under DB server okay I'll miss the remaining okay let me copy this one That looks fine. Go cloud dry and uh, password. Okay, password seems incorrect. Okay, let's copy this password again. And jump back to our task. Yeah, now this one looks fine. Build again. check console output now it seems successful if I come back to this let's connect it to that uh, backup server client if I do ls let's jump into the directory do ls then check that file see now we got this uh, dump now check the task results It's successful. Thank you for watching.